Hey, you, I need you to hit the subscribe button below. Now I got a question. Who got a girlfriend out here? We gonna get real for a minute. Single. Who got a girlfriend out here? Single. What's your name, bro? Got baby, Say it again. Tate. My brother Tate. You got a girlfriend? Hey, all right, hey, look. We all did it. Hey, brothers, y'all ever had a girlfriend before? Yes, sir. We did before, yeah, right? Yeah, it's it's common, bro. We ain't said we ain't acting like we ain't never did it before. We had we did the same thing. Bring it up. But guess what? What you said? You got a girlfriend? Not, Not no more, right? But you had one before, right? What, what about you, Michael? No, I had one before. You had one before. Baby now, now, right now, right? Yeah. All right. So now we're gonna show you how God feels about that. Cause guess what? We was doing the same things. We didn't know better. But now, after we learned, guess what? We stopped doing that thing, bro. Cause right. God said He doesn't promote a uh, girlfriend and girlfriend. Right. According to God, that's whoredom. Say it again. Husband and wife. You understand that, bro? So now let's see what God says. Where you at? Hebrews. Yep. Read what you got. The book of Hebrews, chapter thirteen, and just four and verse four. Uh -huh. You know, marriage is honorable. God says marriage is what? Marriage is honorable. Cause guess what? Let's be real. When, like y'all said, y'all had girlfriends before, right? Why y'all not with them no more? They're, 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 Say it again. They're okay, there we go, right? You, it was something that you didn't like about it, right? Right, there we go, right? What about you? Now you, you feel like your girl ain't uh, loyal, right? What you gonna do? Go find her. You gonna drop it like a bad habit, right? Now exactly. Right in there. Hey, see, look. But God says that that's whoredom. You're only supposed to deal with one woman, bruh. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now I know that's not normal in the black and Hispanic community because we say, hey. Hey, I wish I could F every girl in the world, right? That's what that's what we think, right? Because guess what? We see that in music videos. We see that in the movies. Those are the things, right? Holes in different area codes, right? That's something that, right? That's what we promote. That's what we think, hey, if you see with as many women, you think that you a man now. Right. Right? It was, a, hey, me and my cousins, it was a competition between us. Hey, right, bro, we're going to see who we, or which one of us going to lose our virginity first. So it was real, right? But guess what? God says that's whoredom according to the Bible. You understand? So let read what you got again. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4. Uh -huh, go ahead. Marriage is honorable in all. God says marriage is honorable, bro. Go ahead, read on. And the bed undefiled. Uh-huh. But whoremongers uh -huh. and adulterers, uh -huh. God will judge. God says whoremongers and adulterers, he's going to judge. Right. You understand? Now, I'm going to show you how God judged whoremongers and adulterers. Bring it up. Deuteronomy, you know what I want? 28 verse 61. What happens when a man deals with a lot of girls? What happens? They hold. Yeah, 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 yeah. They become whores, right? Absolutely. That's what whoredom is in the Bible. But what happens when a man has a lot of sex with a lot of women? Um, what happens to them? Say, say it again. They get diseases. That's what God says when he says whoremongers and adulterers. He's going to judge. AIDS. We're going to read Cancel. what God says in the Bible. Yep, I'm going to show you something. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 61. Uh-huh, go ahead. Also, every sickness. God says what? Every sickness. So like y'all said, diseases, right? STDs, right? Sexual transmitted diseases. Go ahead. And every plague, uh -huh. which is not written in the book of this law, uh -huh. then will the Lord bring upon thee. He says the diseases that we don't read about in the Bible. Do we read about AIDS in the Bible? No. Do we read about uh, gonorrhea? No. Uh, hepatitis B? No. Uh, syphilis? No. HIV? Do we read about this in the Bible? No. Read that one more time. Also, every sickness and every plague, uh -huh. which is not written in the book of this law, which is not written in the Bible, go ahead. Then will God bring upon thee? He says God will gonna bring them upon us, right? Right over. Until they'll be destroyed. He says he's gonna bring them upon you until you die. Bring it so up. AIDS. Does AIDS kill our people? No. Yes. Absolutely. Bruh, the blacks and Hispanics are number one. We are number one in every disease known to man, bruh. Right. Sometimes some people like not beat AIDS. All that they like beat the, they kiss AIDS. Bruh, AIDS is an incurable disease. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah so, so what they do is what? Like you said, they prolong it. They take medicine to what? To weaken the disease, right? But guess what? That's a lifelong disease. Once you get it, it's a wrap. AIDS, uh, HIV. You, like, you understand? Like, they like go way fast. You take care of yourself. Yeah, now what they do once again, like you said, to prolong their life. Yeah, they'll uh, what take certain supplements, right? Medicines to prolong their life, right? But guess what? They can't get rid of that disease. Right. This is what God says is gonna happen to those that what 
that whore out their sisters. You understand? Right. You go from woman to woman to woman. You're in. The, you're making yourself vulnerable or catching AIDS or right. HIV or all of those other diseases that we spoke Sometimes, about. Sometimes some girls gonna say, "Oh, I don't got nothing." And they say you, you had sex enough. You got something. You're in the hospital. I mean, so what? So now, how do you prevent that from happening? Wear a condom. Wear just wear a condom. Say it again. Wear a condom. Wear a condom. All right. Yeah. Now, I want you to think about that condom mindset. When our brothers wear, why do our brothers wear condoms for real though? Why do we really do it? No baby. There we go. You don't want to get a sister pregnant, right? So, but why though? Why do we do that? Because we don't want no attachment to her. You don't want no responsibility. So now, guess what? A uh, condom is just another form of what? Hoarding. Because you wear that condom, you say, you know what? Hey, I can sleep with her and ain't going to get her pregnant. You know what? After you do that, you're going to go to the next sister. You're going to do the same thing. You understand? I ain't going to get her pregnant. Sometimes then I'm going to go to the next woman. Sometimes, Sometimes yeah. I do. And guess what? That woman gets pregnant, right? But let's see what God says, though. Read what you got. This is how you prevent finding a woman that may have a disease. You understand? Read what you got, bro. Sirach, chapter 6 and verse 7. Uh -huh. Bring it up. I would just get a friend. Uh-huh. Prove him first. God says if you get a friend, you're supposed to do what? Prove him first. So if you get a sister, right? which is supposed to be for marriage, for a wife, and not a girlfriend or a side chick or a boo thing, whatever we call them today, right? Yeah. God says that what? They're supposed to be what? Prove him first. He's supposed to prove her first. Meaning what? You're supposed to get to know her, bro. You're supposed to, uh, now, is that talking about having sex with her? No, Go to uh, Exodus 22, verse 16. You're supposed to get to know that sister first, right? Bring it up! Because guess what? Marriage, according to God, is a lifelong commitment. That's right. It was never, hey, you know what? We're going to get married for about... You know what? I think I'm thinking about making her honest woman for about two years. You right. know what I mean? Then after that, I'm gonna drop her and probably give me another lady. Right. No. When you married a woman, it was supposed to be for the rest of your life, bro. But let's see what God says. Read what you got. Sometimes, the book of Exodus. Sometimes girls gonna oh, might text another another nigga on the phone behind your back. But that's why once again you gotta prove her first. Right. You wanna see if that sister is loyal. You understand? You want to see if y'all a good match for each other, because what? Sometimes they be hiding. You know? Yeah. Exactly. Hiding Once again, oh, that's why you got her. to prove her, bro. If, if you you got to get to know her. If you ask her for the password, oh, uh -huh. the next day she's going to change the password. So now, okay. Now think about it. Go away. Same. When yeah, it yeah, takes time. Uh-huh. Right. I was supposed to marry her. That was my plan the whole time. Uh-huh. So I now I'm going to show you how you prevent that, right? You prove her, right? You prove her for a dispensation of time. Because you want to get to know that sister. You want to know that she's really loyal, right? Bring it up. You want to make sure because guess what? I got a wife and I got a wife that's loyal. You understand? But guess what? This what the wife that I have, she does what the Bible says. You understand? So the woman that you should be looking for is what? A godly sister according to God. That's because right. a godly sister knows not to step out on her right. husband. A godly sister knows not to be disloyal. Right. You understand? Y'all heard that uh, song by Chris Brown? Yeah. What he said? Yeah. Exactly, right? Bring it up. Hey, it's a lot of that out there, bro. Let's be real. It's a lot of that out there. But guess what? How do you prevent it from happening? You prevent it from happening by what? Finding you a wife that's uh, according to God. Bro. Right. Read what you got, bro. Bring it up. What you got for him, though? Sirach 26. Yeah, read what you got. There we go. The book of Sirach, chapter 26 and verse 23. Bring it up. Huh, go ahead. A wicked woman. Hey, what? A wicked woman. So a wicked woman, hold, right? Like you talk about, right? We see that a lot, right? Or thoughts, that's what we call them today, right? God says what? A wicked woman, go ahead. Is given, is given as a portion uh -huh. to a wicked man. God says a wicked woman is given to a wicked man. So guess what? When you say, hey, there we go. If you say, man, I got a, a sister that ain't loyal. Like you said, Chris Brown said he ain't loyal, right? I mean, him or loyal. There we go. So right. That means that what? In order for you to get a righteous sister, what you got to do? There we go. You see how simple that is? Read what you got. Go ahead. But a godly woman uh -huh. is given to him that feareth the Lord. Read it That's right. Again. I want you to read that one more time. Sirach chapter 26 and verse 23. So I'm going to help you. This is how you find a righteous sister. All right. Read what you got. A wicked woman is given as a portion uh -huh. to a wicked man. So right. a wicked woman is given to a wicked man, right? We don't go ahead. But a godly woman. A godly woman, that woman you said, right? A lawyer woman. A woman that ain't gonna uh, text another dude behind your yeah, back, like you said, your right? No, take your money when you broke. Right, right that ain't gonna you know. steal your money, right? Yeah, what, what's yeah, gonna happen? Call pay but man. hey, look. Right. So now, pay hey, this is how you find you that woman. Lord. Read on, go ahead. But a godly woman uh -huh. is given to says, Hey, what? A godly woman uh -huh. is given to him that feareth the Lord. A godly woman is given to him that what? That does God commandments. Like we stated earlier. Now, go to Sirach 37 and verse 12. Bring it up. Now, what is a godly woman? What is that? Okay, give, give me some characteristics. It's like she's a, 
she loyal, she smart. And she loyal, like, smart. She follows, she follows the word of God, you know, she, she go to church. Uh huh. She works and she okay. takes care of her home. She don't need no, she don't need no boyfriend. She don't need nobody. She just does got her church people. Oh, take care. Okay, look. Now, okay, you said she go to church, right? She works, she clean. Did she walk around with her cheeks out? No. That's, is she in uh, is she uh, in the WAP video? No. Like uh, Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion? Bring it up. Is that a godly woman? Yeah. Because now, let's be real. No. Who, who's seen the, let's be, I wanted y'all to be 100% honest. Who's seen the other WAP video? Who's seen it? I know I did. Be honest, right? Yeah. But now, guess what? Those are the type of sisters that what uh, we look for, right? I got you. But you said you don't want a sister that's not disloyal. No, I got you. You don't want a sister like that. Those are the type of sisters that's gonna do what? Like you said, talk about uh, behind your back, right? Oh, you broke now. Those are the uh, sisters that's gonna step out on you, right? It's hard though, cause they pay us because it's like, I want them to have the bodies and how they look like that, yeah. but I want them to be I want my girl be paid. Hey, guess what, guess what? There's nothing wrong with that, but guess what? That body that she has is only supposed to be for your eyes. Right. You understand? Know yeah. It ain't supposed to be for every man. How you feel about your woman coming out and she showing everything oh, that's no. supposed to be for you, for every man out in the streets? How you feel about that? <laughs> exactly, right? So now let's see what God said. What you got, bro? What you got from us? Uh, All right, go ahead. Bring it up. Chapter 26 and verse 25. Uh -huh. A shameless woman uh -huh. shall be counted as a dog. God says that that's a shameless woman. Right. Now look, I'm gonna show you something. Now, when it comes down to women, right? You said they body, right? That's what a lot of men see, right? Go to uh, Matthew chapter 5, verse 27. Matthew chapter 5, verse 27. Because this is for you too, my sisters, like we were speaking about earlier. These brothers said that what? They want a godly woman, right? Bring it up. Sisters, do, do you want to get married? Do you want to get married? You don't want to get married? Why not? You said what? You say, hey, ain't no good man out here, right? You ever, why, why you say you don't want to get married? I want, I want to ask, my sister. Why not? Why not? Now, this is the problem right here. The reason why a lot of our sisters don't want to get married, because guess what? They say ain't no good man out here. You understand? That's no why we teaching the brothers. Here. We said what? The Bible says that what? A, a godly woman is given to a godly man, right? When the man is godly, guess what? Then those women will actually admire being married to those men. Right. You understand? That's why we got to get ourselves together first. Right. Because what? When the man says he likes a woman that shows her butt cheeks, that shows her cleavage, shows her, st her stomach, right? Then guess what? That's what women portray to be. They do exactly right. what we like. Right. So guess what? If you like a sister that covers her body up, a sister that cooks, a sister that cleans, because what? What Cardi B said in that song? She said, I don't cook, I don't clean, right? Then guess what? That's what women going to portray to be. But if we say what? You know what? That's not what I'm looking for. That's what women are gonna be, you understand? So let's read what you got, what you got, bro. First Timothy chapter two, verse nine. Bro, you nine. Out here making yep. awesome. Hey, look, I'm gonna show you something. Read what you got. The book of First Timothy chapter two and verse nine. So this is for my, my young sisters as well, all right? Read what you got, bro. In like manner also uh -huh. that women adorn themselves uh -huh. in modest apparel. So the Bible says that women are supposed to adorn themselves, meaning adorn means to make beautiful. Yeah. So it's nothing wrong with women making themselves beautiful like my young sisters out here, right? But it says, how are they supposed to do it? Go ahead. In modest apparel. In what? In modest apparel. The Bible says that in modest apparel, right? Go ahead. With shame facing it. Uh-huh. And sobriety. Right, go ahead. Not with braided hair. Uh-huh. Or gold or pearls. Right. Or costly array. Right, go ahead. So now it says they're not supposed to make themselves beautiful by what? By the jewelry yeah, and all that, right? And all that. By, like you said, right? They're modest clothing. But they're supposed to cover their bodies up. You understand? Because look, go to Matthew 5 verse 27. The book now, I'm going to show you why. The reason why a lot of our sisters say that they want to get, they don't want to get married is because what? Brothers do what? They hoard them out. You understand? Like we were saying earlier, we don't want that responsibility. We don't want that commitment. So guess what? We have sex with them. We give them children, right? Get them pregnant, and then we out the door. But guess what? Let's see what God says about that. The book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 27. This is why those things happen, all right? My brother Michael, go ahead. Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, uh -huh, go ahead. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Uh -huh. But I say unto you, Read on. that whosoever looketh on a woman. It says, whosoever look on a woman. So now, let's be honest. Like you say, like my daughter, but two brothers, they say, yeah, I watched the video. We watched it because of what? Because of how they dressed in the video, right? Go ahead. That whosoever looketh on a woman uh -huh. to lust after her uh -huh. hath committed adultery with her uh -huh. already in his heart. God right. says when you lust after that woman, you commit adultery in your heart. You understand? So now I'm going to show you something. When you lust after a sister, is it for the right reasons? Are you Bring trying to make a lifelong commitment with her? No. Because guess what? You lusting after her just by her body. 
You only want one thing. What do brothers want when they see a sister that looks good? That's showing her curves. Sex. Sex. That's all they want. You understand? That's all. That's all they want to do. Hit it and quit it. So now, once again, this is how you prevent that. You prevent that by what? By honoring marriage, like we said, like we spoke about earlier. Proving that sister. You understand? Being a godly man. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.